Okay, sorry. Uh, I didn't know my video was recording, and it skipped the part where I had made the harness for it and got on the jump ring. The jump ring, you know, you just undo, put it, slip it through, and then you know, put back on. Yeah, that simple. For the necklace, I'm using some yarn. Yeah. Measured me. And I got all that. Got my glue gun. Got my scissors. That were on the floor. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to slip the string through the. Oh man, I hate this. Boom. What I usually do, because sometimes when I put in the jump ring, there's a little hole that sometimes uh, the string will allow it to escape, because I'm not sure what happened to my other one. But my older figurine, which was different from these, so cute, broke its foot, but it's falling onto it. Falling onto the ground. Anyway, I'm going this actually onto the jump ring. Or close enough to get glue on the jump ring so it doesn't actually slip out like that. And then what you do, some people can take the little clips that you see on a necklace, like the two sides attach a chain to it and you know clip it like that depending on how short you want it but since I don't have that at the moment I'm just going to take the two ends glue them wear it boom it's that simple and I finish this in like about three minutes two minutes and it fell hold on sorry Okay. That was okay. But sorry if you heard that. Uh, happy day this weekend. It's my big day. Mm hmm. So make sure to wish me happy birthday. Anyway, yeah, I got that glued now. And now I can. It off and wear it around. How cool is that? This is a good gift for anyone. Yeah, anyway, that's a good gift for anyone. Now I've got two those necklaces. Yeah, anyway, that's how you make those. And if you have any ideas, tell me, and maybe I'll do that in a video. Unless you want to do it in your own video. I'll give you the credit. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I got for now. I may be uploading a video later. So, I will do that. And that's it. Bye.